In this video, we'll be learning about how to create a slicer on a table. When applied, it looks like this. Let's see what does it do. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below. From the dropdown, if I choose the various divisions, it will show me those data points. As of now, I only choose RAD, and I click on OK. The immediate effect on the table is RAD divisions are shown on the screen. So let's see how to create this. As of now, let me click on the triple dot and delete the slicer. Next, I go to Data tab, I will find Slicer, and I click on that. Next, it asks me, where is your data range? So I choose this entire block, which ends with the last name, and I click on OK. Now, it asks me which column do you want to put in the slicer. Let's say division. Upon doing so, I can check from the All option where the division values have been included in the filter. Next, you can go to Customize and start changing the colors. For example, you can click on the background color, put a light gray, and put on a black for the text value. If you wish to delete the slicer, you can click on the triple dot and click on Delete Slicer. As of now, let me test if it works. I click on All, I clear the options, then I choose ED and I click on OK. Wonderful. I only get ED division in the list. If you like this trick, why don't you check out our entire library? Click on the link in the description below to get full access. Let me again select all the option and click on OK. Now let me also go back to Slicer to see what is this filter by condition. I click on that. And before using that, I'm simply checking whether I have included all the values under the filter by values. Now having seen and checked that, I go back to filter by conditions. And here I choose the text contains. And in that I write FD. That's it. I click on OK, and I realize that I get all the divisions, which has the letters FD in its name. To remove the filter options, you can go back, remove the FD, and click on OK. You're back to square one. I hope it's clear how to create and use slicer on a table. Remember, you must choose the headers in the slicer range while making a slicer. 